Hi, welcome to Lunch with Lisa, and today I'm going to make egg roll in a bowl. It's Lunch with Lisa. Alright, so today we're going to make a super easy recipe called egg roll in a bowl. And with this dish, we're going to start by chopping up a lovely celery stick. Just gonna chop off the dead ends just to chop this down the middle and give it a nice slice on the bias or the angle. Make it look fancy. Does everybody like some fancy stuff? You gotta feast with the eyeballs, people. Feast with the eyeballs. Okay, so it calls for half a cup of celery, and that is definitely half a cup. There's a lot of little space in there, so I definitely like to, you know, have a heaping half a cup. So we'll set that aside. There's my lovely bowl, so I'm going to toss that in here. Weep! And then we have some tricolor coleslaw here. We just need two cups of that. I'm making this for two people. It's, it's me and my child. And so I'm always making recipes for two or four or six. And that way we can eat them evenly. <laughs> I mean, some of these recipes are for one people that I will be making, but I always double it for two. Okay, so that's two cups of my tricolor coleslaw. I'll set that aside. And then I'm going to combine that with some scallions. And we have to go out to the garden for some scallions. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. Here is my garden. And here are my scallions. So I'm just gonna snip off a couple. So easy to have fresh ones and I just plant them and they keep growing. So I cut some lovely scallions. You know, I just bought some scallions from uh, the store and I planted them after I chopped up the, the tops. And they just grow, they grow like crazy. So I have scallions now, all the time, and I only had to buy them once. And all you need is a big pot with some dirt in it. That's it. Okay, so it says about a half cup of scallions. And what do you know? That's about half a cup. I mean, you could probably use a little bit more, but I think that's perfect. So I'm just gonna put all of that in a bowl together and just kind of give it a toss. And that is our veggie mixture. You know, I could probably use a little bit more of the coleslaw. So I'm just gonna add that. All right, so we're just gonna toss that together and we're gonna set this aside. This recipe calls for ground beef, but I like to use this stir fry beef, which is just some lean sirloin kind of cut into strips by the butcher. And I, know, I just, I love how handy it is to do stir fry. I don't have to chop the beef and it's pretty lean. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan since we're gonna stir fry it. And I have this nandy, nandy. And I have this handy spray bottle that uh, I like to use because it just helps me not pour a whole bunch out. Because if I pour, I just kind of fill up the pan, which this just helps me not put so much oil in. Oh, I love this burner. Okay, it's getting nice and hot. Okay, now it's smoking hot. Smoking hot. So I'm just gonna like, since this is all smoking hot, stick it in the pan and start cooking. Ooh, look at all the lovely juices from that beef. 
Yum, yum, yum. It's gonna help the sauce be extra yummer. All right, now that this has been cooking, I'm gonna add in all my spices. This is a quarter teaspoon of garlic, ginger, and Chinese five spice. Gives it that little kick. So I'm gonna add that and stir that in. Mmm, it's already smelling so good. It's that Chinese five spice. Mmm, mm, mm Look at that. Look at that. Okay, this recipe is super easy, y'all. So now that that's stirred in, I'm gonna add in all my lovely veggies. Let's Dump. And I'm just gonna cook this for a little bit. Not too long, you want those veggies to stay nice and crisp. Now, we are going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce and a half a cup of egg beaters, or it's equivalent with scrambled eggs. I don't know, would that be two or three? <laughs> I don't know. I did not look that up. Oh, it's so good. Can you see this? It's delicious. Yummy. Okay, I'm gonna give this a quick taste. It's pretty good, pretty good. This is the first time I made it with this beef. Let's try some of that. Mm. Oh yeah. Now that's delicious. All right, we're gonna plate this baby up. Got me some tongs. Just gonna divide it into two. And in no time at all, we have egg roll in a bowl. So good. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, that's hot. It's so good. You can taste the celery and the Chinese five spice and that ginger and a little hint of garlic. Mmm. This is what I like to do. I love spicy, but my child does not. But I love to put sriracha on almost everything. <laughs> the, my favorite thing that I recently discovered was sriracha mixed with peanut butter. My favorite kind of peanut butter, which has no salt and no sugar added. Oh, so good. Okay, so this spices it up and makes it taste so good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, now it's perfect. Now it's delicious. Okay, super simple. Egg roll in a bowl. I hope you try it. You can make it with any kind of meat that you want. You could use shrimp. You could use chicken. You could use ground beef like the recipe calls for. Or you could use this stir fry beef. So good. Mmm. All right, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content, more healthy cooking, lunch with Lisa. Catch you on the flip side. It's lunch with Lisa.